Hi, my name is Joe Stebman. I'm the former co-host of the Dice Tower. I've been around for a long time, but I've been out of the gaming scene for a while here. A lot of personal family stuff going on, changed careers, wife joined the army, adopted a special needs daughter, just to name a few. But I'm jumping back in with both feet. Now, there's a lot of games that I've not seen, so I'll be talking about those. Um, but I'm a war gamer. I also like beer and pretzel games somewhere in between, uh, but I like the war games. And one thing the Dice Tower has not had a lot, and it's probably because I'm not around forcing time to do it, uh, is stuff about war games. So that's where I'm really going to focus. Now, there's been some contributors in the past who've been able to do some good quality stuff. I know Sam likes a lot of the same stuff that I like, but um, overall, it's not been around, so that's where I'm going to focus. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll go through games that I have that are still good games, do some reviews. New coming games, I'll be re reviewing those just like a good traditional review. But if it's a game that's already out, what I think I might do is I might do uh, teaching my kids how to play and let you guys watch. I've got four sons who love war games. I've got two daughters who will dabble in them. My wife, she loves the conflict games. Um, so what we'll do is uh, we'll do some game sessions. And maybe you can watch me teach my kids. And then you can use that yourself or you can enjoy it because we'll have some banter. Um, I think I'll start off with the Academy Games series, The Birth of America. Um, we'll do the newest one. The war about the, the the game about the French and Indian War. This series came out. There's a ton of reviews about it. The Dice Tower. Tom has done reviews about it. So I'm not gonna do a review. I'll give you some thoughts, but I'm gonna teach my kids how to play and let you watch. So I'll enjoy being back on a Dice Tower. I appreciate uh, the opportunity. So look for stuff in the future. But let me start off with just having some fun. Hello, this is Davy. How old are you, Davy? I'm 11. <coughs> What? Just talk normal. I'm 11. All right, let's that start over. Normal. Let's start over. Hey, okay, so this is my, this is three of my four boys. This is... Davey. How old are you? I'm 11. Danny. And I'm 12. I'm Joe and I'm 15. Yes, and I'm the dad. All right, so we're going to play um, 1754, which is basically the French Indian War. They've already... Uh, set it up because you know that when you set it up you just look at the board and you can put the stuff where it goes There's a little cheat sheet in the thing here It's gonna be me and Davey versus Joey and Danny. So give me the card decks. Let's see here Danny You are or Davey you can be let's see here purple purple. Yes. Oh, purple you want to be purple because of the color. Yeah, you want to be the French regulars, okay? Sure, and I will be the French Canadians All right the Native Americans are here. So I'll put these blocks here. All right, the, we don't need that. Now, Joe, you can choose where to put your other reinforcement. It has to be, or Danny, choose where to put your other reinforcement. It has to be in a town somewhere in the red. And I gotta put ours on a town somewhere in the purple and stick it on the two side. And these are for your reinforcements. The rules say you can put it on any town. So I'm just gonna put it on Montreal for now. All right, what about you, Danny? I'm going to put it. The towns are marked on the board pretty easily. Yeah, I'm going to put it in Albany. Albany? All right. All right, now, then Joe, reach in here and get everyone's piles of stuff and put it in front of them. All right, so Dave, mm -hmm. what we're going to do is the object of the game is to capture the most um, points from the enemy, okay? And we capture points by Catching taking them in places. Yeah, taking their places, exactly. So you get victory points, and you're going to get to put your little flag on any of the um, star cities. See how there's the stars on the board? Those are the victory point cities. So that one there's got two stars on it. That's a really good oh, one. Okay, we don't cool. want to lose that to the bad guys over here. So we're the good guys because we're the French. They're the bad guys. Okay. So we want to capture these. We want to hold our stars and capture their stars. Okay? And at the end of the game, whoever's got the most stars wins. Okay. The game ends when all four of us have played our treaty card up there. So there's cards and you're going to play cards there in the game. And sometimes you're going to have to have no choice. In your deck of cards, you have one card that says the treaty card. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to play unless you absolutely have to because once both of our treaty cards are down, the game is going to end at the end of that turn. All right? As long as it's after turn three. So and I'll help you, help you figure that out as we go. Because we're teammates, we're allowed to talk, we're allowed to show each other our cards, you get to roll the dice and things like that, and you, you know, you're in charge of the French army, I'm in charge of the French Canadians, so you have the purple, I have the yellow, Danny's got the white, Joe's got the red. The Indians are the green ones, so the green, the Indians will, 
the Native Americans will flip back and forth depending on who, who goes there to join them. And there are special rules for the Indians, and we'll talk about that as we play. Now you can see right now we have these markers on the board because this green area is like the no man's land. It's like the Native American land. And right now the French control this one and this one. The British control this one. And over here the British control that one. And the French control this one. Now, are these markers all supposed to be on the board? Those forts, are those the ones that start on the board? Mm -hmm. All right. I wasn't sure if there was. There's a few extra forts, okay. The forts are really strong. These look like the fort symbols. Just know that if you're gonna attack someone who's in a fort, it's really hard. Okay. And I'll help you when we get to those rules. These anchors are the ports, so you can, it's like a, an area that you can go, and you can go from port to port, so it's always important to, important, get it? <laughs> All right, you can go from port to port. Um, let's see, these little banner things here are where the Indian reinforcements are gonna show up when the Indians show up. And these little armies, these little things are your army dudes. And then when you fight, this is the cool, when you fight, you get to roll the dice, okay? There should be, oh, this is a green bird mine here. So I get three dice, you only get two dice, all right? And it's based on how many people are fighting in your battle. But the, you're, you're better than me because on yours, the bullseyes are killing bad guys. Oh, okay. The French army, they have three bullseyes and three blanks, right? Yes, sir. So it means you got 50-50 chance to kill the bad guys. Mine, I've only got two bullseyes and I've got two dudes running away screaming like a little girl. <laughs> See? If that happens and I roll that, my guy has to run away and go into this fled units box. We can call this the, the chicken box, the wimps. The wimps go to this pot, all right? The blanks, if you roll a blank when you're fighting someone, it's kind of tricky. It allows you to, it's called the command decision. It allows you to choose one yellow guy and make him move out of that battle or stay, it's up to you. And sometimes you can actually move forward. Like if someone attacks you and you roll this on the defense, you get to roll, for, if you roll this, you can move right out of the battle into a different battle or into an empty spot. It's pretty crazy. So the rules about that is it has to be either a friendly or an empty spot if you want to go there. So that's important, boys, because if you leave a spot open, I could theoretically, you could attack me and I could just run right by you. All right, because yeah, I think back in the old days, you know, it's a big, huge battle and there's woods and there's all kinds of stuff. All right, so they could run away. Um, if there's a fort, we have to roll the fort dice. We'll worry about that when it happens. Um, the game turns are random, so what happens is we're supposed to put these dice in that black bag, but I don't like that. I think it's kind of boring. So I put the dice inside the dice tower and then I take this off. And whatever, it's like a race. Whatever dice rolls the farthest, they get to go first. Oh. All right, it's kind of neat. So look at this would be an example. Well, purple really wants to go first, right? So we'll put purple on here, and then purple will take their turn. Okay. okay. There should be a little pawn here. The pawn needs turn one. And then purple will go, and then when purple is all done, then we'll roll the remaining dice again. And then green will go, and then green's all done. We'll roll the dice again. And white will go. That's just my little way of doing it, okay? okay. That'll turn what you do. Now on your turn, you uh, first thing that you're always gonna do is get your reinforcements, okay? Now every team gets different reinforcements. The, the uh, actually in this game, I get confused because there's three versions of this game. This particular is the newest version. I think in this one, I think you just get four. Isn't that how we played it last time, Joe? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you just get four. So you get four reinforcements, plus, and those reinforcements are gonna have to go into, you're the French player, you have to go into a port. One of your three ports, or any other port that you control, right? You have to go into a port, you get four every turn, plus any of the wimpy dudes that ran away, you can put those on the board as well. But there's usually not too many French wimpy dudes because they don't run away, they either die or they stay, okay? Um, so there'll be plenty of the yellow. It's kind of funny they made them yellow, <laughs> they're running away. Um, so that's your reinforcements. After you get your reinforcements, you're going to play cards. Now this is the, the whole way the game works. Now you these cards. There's two types of cards, Dave, Danny and Joe. There's movement cards and there's event cards. If you play a movement card, this card says, and you guys, we played this wrong last time. This is a lot better than what we played it. This means that three armies, not three blocks, three armies, can move one space. So everything in a spot is an army. That would help. It helps a lot, right? Because last time we played, we were just playing one block and meant an army. That was horrible. <laughs> um, so you do a move. And the different event cards, this one says movement phase, so you can play an event card as well. 
and that it lets you do special things on your turn, special events, okay? You're always gonna have three cards in your hand. You have to play one movement card every turn and only one, and that's what you can move. Once your turn is over with, you're gonna draw back up to three cards. Now, remember I told you about the treaty card? There's the treaty card. So the treaty card is, this one says move three armies two spots, but once you play the treaty card, it goes up to that board up there, and for the rest of the game it stays up there, and if I ever play my treaty card, the game is going to end. So we don't want the game to end if we're losing, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and I'll help you out as the game goes on. And you guys remember how that works, how the cards work? So that's what we're going to do for cards. So everyone, all right, everyone shuffle the cards, give yourself three cards. Um, what if somebody doesn't have a movement card? Then you have nothing but event cards, good question. You automatically will discard all three of those cards, shuffle your draw pile again, and draw three new cards. Okay. So we'll get three cards. All right, I got my three. Okay. Now, also at the very beginning of the game, um, I believe everyone gets to put four additional units. Right? Cards, place, yeah, place additional units. The French Canadians and the French get to place four additional units in any purple home, any purple French home area, and any area occupied by French units. These units be placed in several areas. So Dave, we go first. We get to put four, so get four blocks. Mm -hmm. And then you can put those in any purple area. All right, what it says, um, in any purple French home area or any area occupied by French units. So. I will put mine, you can put them on the board if you want, so any purple area or an area that's already got another purple or yellow unit, all right? Mm -hmm. So I will put one here, one here, one here, and where is, where is, where is a good spot? And I'll put one here. No, no, I'll put one over here, why not? All right, your turn. I'll put one here. Okay. One here. Mm hmm. One here. All right. And. Go ahead, just put it somewhere, it doesn't matter. Okay, one here. Okay, go ahead, boys, do yours. Four each. Two here, two here. Danny? You guys ready to play? Yeah. I'll explain any rules that come up as they happen, but for the most part, it's pretty simple. We're trying to take those cities and protect our own cities. Okay? And I'll help you as we go. So let's we'll see who goes first. I'm using my special Joe Stedman dice rolling method. Purple. So purple goes first, which is Dave. All right, Dave. So first thing you do is reinforcements. How many reinforcements do you get? Um, four. Good. Take four. Okay. And you have to put them into a C zone. Into a port. So you only have three ports. One there, one there, one there. Okay. I would probably put it one, just spread them out. Who cares? Until we understand a little bit. And I'll just place them right here. Okay. Next, you, let's see what card you got. So you have a movement card, good. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, let's see here. Um, you want to do that so early in the game? Sure, let's do this. So instead, pick those four, put those four guys back up. And it says, reinforcements may be placed in a harbor area with enemy units. A battle is immediately resolved that the French win. The reinforcements may move during the movement phase. All right, so take those four guys, and let's take on one of Joe's ports. Let's land right here in Philadelphia. Okay. Bam. All right, so now we're going to get to show you how battle works. It's pretty cool. The defender always gets to roll first. Uh -huh. So Joe's got... One red and one white, so Danny gets to roll one and Joe gets to roll one. Who's going to roll? Me. All right. So he had one red guy who kills one of our purples. There's your dead guy. And then one command decision. So is your guy going to stay in a fight or run away? He's like, going to Like stay. a little girl like that he is. All right, so you have three purples, but how many dice do you got? You've only got two, so you can only roll two. Go okay. ahead. Two dead. What a roll. <laughs> All right. Now, that didn't even count as your movement, all right? So that's really cool. This card's gonna be gone. So you put that over there. Not on the board, just next to the board is a discard. Now, you've got two cards left. We wanna do your movement. Now, 
you can try to take Philadelphia. Let's do, let's do, what do you want to do? So it's early in the game. You have to have something with a purple in it to activate it. But if you activate it, you can use everything that's in that spot, even the good guys, like even my guys. And even if there's Indians there, they'll move with you as well. So let's do something fun. So check this out. You've got, let's do this one. So put this down here. This is your hand still. We're going to play the one army gets to go four spots. Okay. So let's go. F that's a pretty far way for them to move. So who's our biggest army out here? Um. Those guys in Seneca are pretty strong. But if we leave there, then that gives up. So let's, let's, let's attack Boston. That'd be kind of fun, right? One, two, three. Let's go down and attack Boston. Okay. So one, two, three, four. So let's take... Well, that's kind of that's 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 like we don't want to give up a victory city, but that's okay. Let's just have fun. Okay. So go ahead, move those four blocks. Be careful here. Yeah. We're going down to Boston. Actually, see, we should have taken. We can't go to Albany. No, that's not strong enough. All right, go ahead, go down to Boston. If he had a command like a reinforcements area that was unprotected, we could have attacked that. But he doesn't really have one that's unprotected. All right, so we're having a new battle. So now they have. Um, they got one red and one white. They get the roll first. Oh, so they kill one. Let's kill one of my guys. Okay. Okay. And then what's your other guy gonna do? Stay and fight or run away? You stay. All right. Now we get we get one purple. Now the Indians are with us. Now the Indians are gonna help us. One green and one yellow. So it's your turn. You can roll. The yellow guy ran away like a little girl. <sighs> like a chicken, not a girl that's offensive. Because <laughs> I did that part out. <laughs> Mom would never run away. Mom's in the army. Mom would stay and fight. Okay. But the other two guys didn't do... They, they could run. I mean, not run, but they could move um, somewhere else. And I don't think it's a good... I think we should just keep fighting. Okay. Go ahead, Joe. Ugh. So his, his white guy runs away. Danny. And his run. his other guy killed somebody, so we'll have him kill the Indian because if you killed the purple guy, the Indian would run away. The Indians always have to have one army with them. All right, all right. So purple, come on, purple. Go ahead, go ahead. We gotta kill him, Danny. Or Danny. Yeah. <sighs> so we kill him. Now we get to put the victory flag. Get the get the French victory flag. And we claim Boston. Boston is now French. Boston. Boston. Boston All right. Mask. Now draw the end of your turn. You've got one card, so you need how many? I uh, three. Draw two more. All right, stick in there. All right, here we go. Who's next? Who's the next contestant? Um, die and the French Indian War. All right, here we go. Green, the Indian player. So there's the Indian player. So this is how the Indians work. So the Indians get reinforcements just like everybody else. Except they have to go to this symbol here. So that symbol is the one that shows up on the thing. So it looks like a triangle with a plus sign in it. So and they get six. They get three there, and they get. And where's the other triangle with a plus sign in it? So Diamond. Diamond. There you go. Oh, look at that. The Indians <laughs> are helping us out. Whoa! Amazing. All right. That's all that happens for the Indians. Is it six? Are you sure? Do I need to look it yep. up? Okay. I got my boy Wonder. All right. Uh, who's next? White. White. All right. Let's go, boys. Where? We're almost done, man. All right, last last guy. I will survive. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. All right. I that concludes survive. the game. Now let's talk about it. So let's talk about it. Dave and Captain. Dad won because we are better than you two. So, <laughs> Cheers. I mean, you're better than we're us. better. Cheers. Um, all right, let's yes. start with Danny. What do you, how did you think the game went, and do you like the game or not? Pretty much, kind of like the game. You know, going good the first what, couple rounds. What, what did you do wrong? What should you do different next time? Don't leave those. Don't leave the drop areas open. Yeah, I think the French army coming up in the middle really caused a lot of diversions for you guys, and you took too much time trying to fix that French guys in Philadelphia. Fail. You should have kept with. You should have hit them harder right when they landed. What about you, Joe? What's your thoughts? My thoughts on the game. Never ask for <laughs> on your on your thoughts on the loss. On the loss. Of, huh? Oh, just I think that there are some definite 
um, what, what's it called? Uh, issues? No, not issues, but there are advantages for both teams, and they're like, so there's definitely some advantages. In so what would you do differently next time? Next time? We'll be the French. I'm going <laughs> to probably wipe out this weaker area first instead of like. Button heads over here? Yeah. Yeah, but that was good. You should have built that fort. One thing I bit my lip because I should have, I wanted to say, when you had that fort thing, you should have built your fort here. Yeah. But that's all right. I forgot about that. What about you, Dave? What's your thoughts? Well, um. Well. It's overall game. Yeah. It's probably really easy to have a lot more people. Stop, guys. It's easier to have a lot more people to tell you advice and other stuff. And just gets a lot more interesting when you have more people. Did you have fun? Yep. What would you do different next time? Wait, you won. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> All right, so my thoughts. Um, I think it's a good game. You can see that my 11 year old and 13, almost 13 year old had no problems grasping the, the concepts. Davey needed some help at a few times and you can see his attention was lingering a few times. He's got that little bit of sugar going on because mom's not home. A little too much sugar in his diet. Um, but overall, uh, there's some, it's a pretty easy game, but I won and I didn't hold back on the boys because I wanted to demonstrate that you know, there is some strategy in the game. So the, the boys made a few mistakes I took advantage of. Um, I did a little fiat over here, a little faint attack with this, and it really did tie up their resources for a lot of the game. And they left a lot of things undefended in the middle. So the game's got a lot of subtleties to it. It's fun, it's easy. It, it took us 10 minutes to learn the rules. So there you go, thanks. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com.